Chapter 14, The Cleaning Lady, 1935 Ever since Herr Schneider had become head of the toy department of Herschel Meyer, Frau Pink came to the Schneiders qu twice a week. She helped Frau Schneider with the cleaning and other housework. After my father not only found work but also was promoted because of his membership in the party, Frau Pink also helped my mother. Frau Pink was hardworking and thorough. One could recommend her to others without hesitation. Frau Pink took on many jobs as she could possibly handle. She liked families with children best because she didn't have any herself. Because her husband returned from the factory very late in the evening, because she was very bored being home by herself, because she loved buying things, that's why Frau Pink cleaned for other people. It was a Wednesday in the fall of 1935. I was doing my homework and Frau Pink was cleaning our windows when the doorbell rang. I heard Mother going to the door and then Frau Schneider's voice asking after Frau Pink. Frau Pink heard it too. She had put down the window cloth when Mother returned to the room with Frau Schneider and Friedrich. I wanted to see you, said Frau Schneider and held our hand out to Frau Pink. I wanted to ask if you could please come a little later on Friday. I have to take Friedrich to the doctor, you see, she added and only asked, is that all right with you, Frau Pink? Frau Pink looked upset. She had taken a handkerchief from her apron pocket and was twisting it between her fingers. She kept her eyes on the handkerchief. After a while, she said, I would have come up later because I wanted to talk to you anyway, Frau Schneider. She paused and looked straight at Frau Schneider and said, You know, Frau Schneider, you, you must understand that my husband thinks I, I really have enjoyed working for you and... I like Friedrich so much, you see. Frau Schneider blushed furiously. She lowered her head. Her hands played restlessly with her coat buttons. She breathed quickly. Puzzled, Mother looked at Frau Schneider and at Frau Pink. It was clear from her face that she didn't understand what was going on. Frau Pink pulled Friedrich to her. She put her arm around his neck, pressing him tightly against her while, while her left hand continually smoothed her apron. Equally puzzled, Friedrich stared at his mother, then at Frau Pink. Frau Schneider lifted her head. She swallowed, cleared her throat, and said, It's all right, Frau Pink. I know what you mean, and I am not angry with you. I thank you for helping us, all, helping us so well for so long. I wish you all the best. Quickly, she offered Frau Pink her hand, called to Friedrich, and quickly left our apartment. When Mother came back from the door, she shrugged her shoulders. I no longer understand anything, she declared. Frau Pink stood in the same spot and needed her handkerchief. Did you quarrel with Frau Schneider? Mother asked her. What's going on? How could you give up such a family, such a good family? Frau Pink turned her back toward Mother. She picked up the window cloth. Wiping the window frame, she addressed the wall. What can I do? Do you think I liked doing it? But I'm only 28, you see. Mother pulled a face as if Frau Pink had given her a riddle to solve. What on earth has the fact that you're only 28 got to do with it? Over her shoulder, Frau Pink peered at my mother in astonishment. But don't you know about the new law the Nazis have passed? She asked in a superior tone of voice. No. Jews and non-Jews are no longer allowed to marry. All marriages between Jews and non-Jews are dissolved. And non-Jewish women who are under 35 are no longer allowed to work in the houses of Jews. My God, sighed Mother. Next week, Frau Pink went on, I saw a young woman being paraded through town. Around her neck, she wore a sign that said, I deserve a beating from you because I love a Jew. Mother covered her face with her hands. But that's terrible, she wailed. Do you think I want to be driven through town like that? Or maybe even land in prison? Frau Pink shook her head. Slowly, Mother went to the door. Before she left the room, she stopped and asked, And what does your husband say to all that, Frau Pink? Frau Pink folded the window cloth. You know, she said softly, I would have known how to arrange it all right. But my husband used to be a communist, and he feels we ought to be careful and not do anything wrong. <laughs>